steps to reduce the stigma of mental illness and make health services more available for every resident. Our Madeline O'Neill is in studio tonight to share how those goals are becoming reality. Liam, this area has a number of resources for those struggling with mental health issues, but not everyone can reasonably access them. Dane County is planning a study to find gaps in services and ways to patch them. You can't fix the problem until you fully understand it. Dane County puts tens of millions of dollars a year into mental health services. But County Executive Joe Parisi says not all residents are covered. Unfortunately, when we look countywide, it's kind of a patchwork. It's the county does some work, there are private insurers that do other work, there's medical assistance. Parisi says the county takes care of those without insurance. But they're not the only ones who need help accessing treatment. Some of the challenges that we see are often more in the private sector. Um, people who have HMOs or MAHMOs who may have to wait very long periods of time to get the services they need. Parisi wants to map the data out and see what areas need work. We need more data. We need more information. We want to be able to look at this map and really identify where the services exist, where there might be gaps. Maybe there are gaps there that we can fill. Journey Mental Health Center provides mental health and substance abuse services to all ages. People need these services. Journey President and CEO Lynn Brady says she'd like to see more community-based services or those outside institutions and case management programs to help people with anything from doctor appointments to housing. We want to move forward and this looking at the gaps in the community will help us on that forward march. A county study aims to find those gaps. We want to interact with people who, who, who utilize these services to, to, to hear their stories and hear where they're running into challenges. The first step in a potential fix. A lot of people need to seek help during their lifetime and there are resources to help folks get better. We want to make sure that we have a very, the most robust system to help as many people access the services they need as possible. Parisi says oftentimes those with mental illness end up behind bars. This study will also investigate whether the county could use what's called a crisis restoration center, where those with mental health issues could potentially go instead of jail. The county is planning on starting the study, which is budgeted for $100,000 in June, with results back by the end of summer. All right. Thanks, Maddie. Mm -hmm. Madison police are investigating a possible...